Hello and welcome to Honest Car Reviews and this is the new Ford Focus ST the smaller brother to the Focus RS but because of emissions the new Ford Focus RS Mark IV did not happen which means that the Focus ST is the top dog in the Focus segment and in this review I'm going to try to answer how does the new Focus ST compare with the new Fiesta ST and of course, as always, I will start with the exterior and this rather unique orange fur paint which is also found in the Mustang GT that I reviewed a couple of years ago. But just doing a quick summarize of the exterior, the new Focus was already in the ST line quite aggressive in how it presented itself. And apart from a bit lower front lip and redone bumpers, a bit lower ride height, uh, a bit more aggressive rims, Palace Sport 4S tires, more aggressive brakes and bigger brakes. There aren't that many things except for these two real exhausts, which are located at the sides, which is a bit Volkswagen Golf GTI ish. And of course, the ST badges around the car. But the thing that makes this car stand out is of course the paint which makes small children point and look. I quite like it, it's a bit understated which I think that a Focus ST should be and if you're wondering what this part here is missing it is actually a cover for the towing hook. The orange paint however makes me think of the new Megane RS which has in some ways a similar orange paint and this is the direct competitor to the Megan RS and by looking at the price the Focus ST with the ST3 pack which in Sweden that's how the Focus ST comes as a standard the Focus ST costs just under 40,000 euros which means that you are in Megan RS trophy territory and it's a bit harder suspension, more power, more aggressive in general. And the question is also if the Focus ST will reach that level that the Megane RS Trophy is at. And that I will answer also later when I drive the car. But I'll talk a bit about the rear luggage space. And as you can see with hot touches you often have quite a ridge here and this is a big one and there isn't that much width here and that's because the car has been quite insulated to reduce the sounds from tires from uh, cars around you and other things so it isn't that impressive the rear luggage I'll get into the rear seats and of course as always I remove my filming equipment as you can see here depending on which position the driver has his seat right now the front seat is as far down as it can be it does mean that my knees are hitting the back part of this seat which has not been uh, has an indentation fortunately this back plate is not in hard hard plastic which means that it flexes a bit but it is a, quite a design fault i would like it to go further so people with longer legs such as me can fit without problems however luckily the foot space is very good very good and even though this has sparkle front seats which are also electrically adjustable the rear seats are not that heavily indented which means that on longer uh, trips you aren't as tired in your back because of the indent in a lot of cars that has indents in the rear seats there are a lot of pressure points that come at the back and make the back tired that's not the case in the new Focus ST. Unfortunately, some corners have been cut. 
And just by looking at the rear side door panel, this is just plastic everywhere, except for this handrest. And the same goes with the front seats in general. I'll show you actually. But before I will do that, Ford has a very clever uh, cover to reduce the risk of uh, hitting your door against another car and things like that. This is some sort of fabric that is a bit softer, but the grayish look of it all and this yeah, fake carbon plastic, it is on a higher level than the Megane RS but it's still rather downscale and a bit on the budget side. Does that really matter? No, because it is a well-built car and a well-built interior. The interior is the same as all new Fords. It is tried, tested and it looks okay. The down part here looks so and so, but for the price and the fact that it is a hot hatch, I'll think that it looks good. One positive thing is that you have movable cup holders, so depending on your cup holder si cup size, you can change it. And it also acts as a storage compartment, and depending on what size your phone is, you can also use it as a phone holder. Quite neat. Wireless charging, old USB connection, no USB-C connection here unfortunately, but the seats. They are heavily bolstered, sparkle seats with Alcantara and you sit so well in this. Because the seats are electrically adjustable, you can have it in the perfect way for you. So this is the 2.3 liter turbocharged 4 pot found in the old Focus RS and in the EcoBoost Mustang. However, in the Focus ST, it has 280 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Which means that this car goes from 0 to 100 km an hour in just about 6 seconds. And even though that might sound not that fast, that's not what this car is about. Because this car is fitted with a manual. It is possible to get this in an automatic, but then you lose the whole point of this car. I'll start driving and I talk some more and explain. Now we're in normal. And you could hear the tires screeching just a tiny bit. And then you have the wastegate. And being able to drive this with a manual with the gruntiness of the engine because it is a 2.3 liter which means that it has in general sense more torque than a standard 2 liter 4 pot. The car fitted with active cruise control which works fine. It keeps the distance to the car in front of you, it is not nervous, it is smooth in its power delivery and luckily you can get the active cruise control with the manual. Interesting to note is that in Slippery you still get blip downshifts. So when you downshift the car automatically puts on some revs when you get into a lower gear. In normal that doesn't happen. But if I want to go into sport I can use the mode button and circle through. But I also have a quick uh, button and you can already feel that the car is accelerating and that was with the same gas response that I had before. So the gas response is much quicker, the suspension is stiffer and you have not only a faster uh, steering but a heavier steering as well. Automatic gas when you downshift, front wheel driven car, get cracks from the rear, 
The front turns in nicely. The brakes are a bit mushy, they are not up to par with the rest of the car. And especially during low speed acceleration, the front gets a bit nervous and a bit twitchy. For themselves says that they wanted that to make the car more engaging. But I don't know, I would like that stability. I don't have to rev all the way to redline because the turbo and maximum torque kick in at around 3000 RPM. Oh, it's so fun. It's very engaging, especially in with this manual gearbox. It's a bit understeering uh, at the limit. But the rear is very well planted. It's not too stiff, it is not too soft. A bit on the softer side when you start to go faster. But when you are in race mode or in sport mode, the suspension can be a bit unnecessarily hard during standard driving as I'm doing now, but on some more uneven road. But switch over into slippery or normal and the car transform into a completely soft, normal, comfortable car. The gas response is much smoother. The steering is not as fast. It's not as heavy. It becomes a normal car that you can daily drive and that's what I love about the Focus ST look at that sunset beautiful day here in Sweden and it makes it a perfect time to finalize what I think about the Ford Focus ST I mean it is based on the new Focus which is already very good and in the ST line it was quite fun to drive and Ford Performance has really done their homework. I've put them the 2.3 liter turbocharged engine from the Focus RS and they have uh, fitted sticker tires, an electronic uh, limited slip diff, a manual gearbox, upgraded the brakes which are a bit soft and a bit mushy, not up to par with the rest of the car. And I created a very fun car, no question about it. It is not as extreme and aggressive as the Megane RS or the Fiesta ST. But the Focus ST, I believe, caters towards a completely different market. It is aimed towards a person that wants a completely normal car for 90% of the time. But for the rest, 10%, they want something fast, engaging and fun. But still manages that split personality very well. It doesn't make any exceptions on either side of the extreme. You can have that normal without any intrusion of the sportiness. And you can have that aggressive side without any intrusion of the normalness. So the Focus ST is a very good car in very many aspects. But the price of 40,000 euros is a bit on the steeper side. My name is Eric and this is my review of the Ford Focus 